East so, School Plus, so, setting up the class. So this is the activity setup that you need to do at the beginning of every season to input every student athlete. When you run the IPR, it's going to pull the kids from the specific class or activity that you create. So you don't want to pull the grades for every student in the school. You only want to pull it for the athletes. So the way that works is you would go to menu, you would go to registration, and then down here where it says office, you'd click activity setup. For activity setup, you can see all of the other ones that are currently registered under you. So I can see this fall one, which I already created for this fall. And this is where it has all of the students that are participating in a fall sport listed. But if you wanted to create a new one, you would click the plus button. You would set the building, the activity code. This is where you would type winter. I'll put W-I-N-T-R. Description, I would say winter athletes. Advisor, I would usually put me, but you could put Dennis or you could put you. It would show up there. You don't have to worry about anything else up top. And then the prerequisites, um, there are quite a few demographics that you'd need to put in in this category. I have it written down in the standard operating procedure of what these should look like so you know specifically what to be categorizing it as. But once you have all the demographics and the prerequisites set correctly, you can search the students by name. And when you search the name, if there's multiple kids with the same last name, it'll pull up everyone with that last name. Um, but if you type in the whole name specifically, it'll just bring up that kid. So if I wanted to add Julian to the class, I would double click him and I would continue typing every other person that I wanted to add to the class. So you get our fall sport list from Family ID and type each kid's name into there? Yes. So you'd go through, so the current one has 473 kids registered. So you go through and type them all in. The important thing to remember is to click save between. If you don't save throughout, you could potentially lose your whole list. So I usually do it by sport. I'll do all the field hockey players, click save. I'll do all the football players, click save. So that, I, that way I know that I'm getting through all of them. You can pause this process. So you could save it and then come back to it later if you needed to. Um, you don't have to do it all at once, but I like to just get it out of the way. And then once you do this um, and you save everyone, then it'll show up on that activity setup list. So let me just save this one for example. Let me do a field name. Let me see if this will let me save it. Oh, it won't let me save it without the list. Building is in... Let's do this. So if I save this one, it'll show up as a new activity. So if I go back into the activity setup, registration, activity setup, shows up here as winter. And if I click it, it'll pull up Tatum and Julian again. So... Do you just have to set the settings correctly here, which I'll have written down.